Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do a gel pedicure at home. I've actually never done one of these before, so I'm really excited to share this with you. We're gonna start by clipping down our toenails because I haven't done a pedicure in a while and I really want my toenails to be pretty short. So I'm using the Barefoot Scientist Clippers, which are my all-time favorite. I'm not sure why they're so great. I don't know if it's the excellent grip on them or just how wide the clipping portion is, but they do an excellent job on my toes and on my nails. So I'm just taking a little bit of length off of those toenails, and then I'm going in with an olive and June file to straighten them out. I'm just smoothing the top, and I really want to create a nice shape. I don't do pedicures very often, so when I do, I like to keep the toenails pretty short and pretty square almost like a squovalish. I don't want too sharp of corners so they don't snag or break on anything, but I like the look of square nails. So that's what we're doing. We're just gently filing each toenail into that shape. I have pretty small toenails, aside from my big toe, obviously. So I find them pretty challenging to file at times, but just take your time with this. DIY pedicures, are not as frequently done as DIY manicures, so I really wanna take my time when I'm doing this. I'm loving how this shape is coming out, and once I get it just right, I'm gonna apply a little bit of my Sweet Almond Cuticle Oil to each toenail so we can start to prep the actual nail. This is the amazing cuticle pusher remover tool from Olive and June. I don't know why my camera went out of focus while I was doing this, but I'm just gonna use this to push back the cuticles of my toenails, and I'm gonna really push them back. I want to expose all of the new nail growth. I wanna get rid of any of that dead skin that's kind of lingering on the nail, any of that dead cuticle. So you can see I'm starting to gather a lot of dead skin here. I'm gonna clean underneath the toes if I can, and then I'm gonna grab my cuticle nipper. I love this cuticle nipper. I think this is from Diane, and I'm just going to remove any of that excess cuticle. Like, I'm really going to town. I know I said it earlier, but I haven't done this in a while, and we gotta get rid of all of it. So only clip what is already dead, what's already hanging off. You don't wanna overdo it, because that's how you get infections or bleeding, but I have quite a bit that needs to be removed. So really get in there and try to get the nails to look as clean as possible. Once all of the cuticle clippings are removed, take a buffing cube and lightly buff over all of your toenails. This is gonna smooth out everything we just did, and then I'm gonna go rinse them off and come back and prep them for the polish. So when you do a gel manicure, it's important to scuff up the surface of the nail. I don't normally like to do this on my fingernails because that's how you kind of ruin your nails, but on your toes, I know this pedicure is gonna last me a long while, so I'm using that Olive and June file again and really scuffing up the surface. I'm gonna apply a thin coat of the dehydrator and then go in with my foundation. So I'm going to paint a thin coat on all of my toenails. I'm not capping the edges just yet, but I wanna make sure that I don't get any polish on the cuticles or the skin around the toenail. So after you paint, go ahead and like use your fingernail or a tool to clean up any areas that you think may have gotten onto that skin. If you don't do this, the polish is gonna cure and adhere to the skin, and then it's gonna encourage it to lift. I'm gonna pop that in the lamp for a little bit to cure. Once it's all cured, I'm pulling my toes out and I'm gonna use Jellish's Wool You Love Me. This is a really beautiful, like light brown neutral shade. I've actually never used it before, but I wanted to do something a little different than like a white or light pink, which is what I normally gravitate towards. So I figured I'd try it out today. Painting just a thin coat of this on all my toenails and again, going back to clean up if necessary before popping the toenails back into the lamp. Once they cure, pull them out and go for the second coat of color. Again, take your time here, cover the nail, make sure not to get any polish on the skin or cuticle, and clean up as you go. I can't tell if I'm regretting this color or not, but if I end up not loving it, I can always paint a different regular polish over it, but I think I like it. Popping them back into the lamp to finish curing before pulling them out and applying the top coat. So this is the Gelish top coat. I'm painting a hardy coat of this on top of that color and capping the edges to seal in the pedicure. I use a pretty generous amount when I'm doing the top coat because this is the finishing touch. Go ahead, remove any polish that may have gotten onto the skin, pop it back into the lamp, and after they are cured, you are done. Spritz some alcohol or cleansing solution onto your toes, use a cotton pad to remove that sticky layer, and then I'm going in with a little more Sweet Almond Cuticle Oil to finish this petty. I don't know why my camera kept going out of focus, I am so sorry, but I'm just rubbing that oil in, and here is the finished product. I absolutely love how these turned out. My 
toes feel completely refreshed. I love how they look. I'm still kind of waiting for this color to grow on me, but look at the improvement here. This is like night and day. I am going away, so hopefully my feet get a little color and this polish doesn't look as skin toned, but that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.